Hi everyone, and welcome to the commenting use case with Writefade. Providing contextual comments or qualitative analysis is a critical part in any analytical process. The ability to have a business user providing expert analysis and making it available for others is a valuable tool for effective communication. The challenge here is to associate the analysis with the current filters on Tableau as we want to make them contextual to what we have on the view. That is exactly what Writepack can do for you, and even better, it will store the input in your database, making the information available anywhere you need it. Without further ado, let's just check how quickly we can provide an analysis with Writepack. In this dashboard that uses Tableau's Superstore example, we can take a look at the performance of our shipments during a specific quarter of the year. The quarter and year are the active filters on the V, so that is exactly what will be used as context for our analysis. To start, I simply click on the Add Analysis button within Writeback to open the form. In this form, we only have one input, the analysis, which is a rich text field. As you can see, even without selecting any marks on the dashboard, Writeback reads the filtered year and quarter. We can also see, on the timeline, that an entry already exists for this quarter. Ok, let us submit a new analysis. With the rich text editor, we can provide long texts with the most common formatting options. We can even copy text that is already formatted from Microsoft Word, for example, and paste it here. Once that is done, we apply the text and submit it to the database. We now have two analyses for this quarter. Refreshing the rich text viewer, we can see the new entry and change the page to switch between the available analysis. We can now move on to analyze the next quarter and look at it, it already has one as well. Ok, so far we are seeing right back from the perspective of an end user, a business analyst. But before we reach this point, we first need to configure everything. Throughout the process of developing a dashboard, we need to decide where to place Writepack and what worksheet and fields we want it to read and store on the database. On this dashboard, Writepack is not yet configured, so let's see how we can create a scenario like the one in the previous dashboard. First, we drag the extension object into the view and select the appropriate T-Rex file for our Writepack instance. Once dropped in, and because I'm already logged in, the configuration screen pops up. I configured my worksheet to include the year and the quarter as fields in the detail, and even though they are not visible, they are still available for Writepack to read. So I choose that worksheet, and from it, I can select what source fields I want to keep. Since we only want the year and the quarter, the others are removed. Now, it is important to give our dataset a name, as this is also the name that the table will have once it is created in the database. Moving on, we have to create the fields we want to be available on the form. Since we only want to add an analysis, we create just one field and select its format to be a rich text. Because it should not be necessary to select a mark, we need to disable the mark requirement option, which is what will allow Writepack to open with the context available from the filters. Now, we just need to submit, our table is created in the database and the form is ready to be used in the dashboard, so let's do just that. Like before, we click on the button to open it, then provide our analysis. It's great that we can see the analysis in the timeline, but we will actually want to see it on our dashboard. Due to that, we can simply create a new worksheet with a list of inputs because we are using rich text and the text is formatted. To solve this, we need a new configuration of Writepack, but this time around as a viewer. So, to achieve this, we drag the extension object using the same T-Rex file as before. The difference is that now, instead of configuring a dataset, we are going to configure it to display the rich text field that we just created. First, we select the right back dataset where the field sits. Then, we select the rich text field and finally the worksheet that is going to be used as reference. The logic for sharing the field contents will match the mark required option of the main dataset, so we will use the same worksheet for this particular case. Once that is done, the viewer is now displayed alongside our data, allowing us to have contextual information in a nice formatted text. This will be visible to whoever is able to log in to Writepack independently of your Tableau permissions. So if you're using SSO, the end users that will see the rich text viewer will have a seamless experience when they analyze the dashboard. With this, we end this example on how to set up a use case that requires a text input and we could see how easy and quick it is to set up Writepack. Thanks for watching.